Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about the BlackBerry Z10. Uh, actually the BlackBerry 10 line in general and uh, the potential that they still have. Now they're not the most popular things these days because BlackBerry has been going down a course of failure but at one point they decided smartly, rightly, that they should be able to install Android apps on these phones, making it a lot more useful. Because developers didn't want to develop for BlackBerry, they want to develop for everything else. <laughs> so, if you want to download apps directly from the App Store, the Google Play Store, you can set up Snap, BlackBerry Snap. It'll directly connect to the Android Play Store, to the Google Play Store, sorry. And those apps will all be up to date there. So, if you want to do this, you're going to have to basically Google BlackBerry Snap. And it's a really simple process. All you have to do is you have to have BlackBerry Link downloaded. you got to get a very simple attachment for Google Chrome. And, uh, yeah, very simple setup. And then you can get apps directly from the App Store, which is really nice. But the only app that I've ever used that I got from the BlackBerry world is this awesome GPS. That's one of the most important things I do with this with this BlackBerry phone. Uh, so NavFree is an excellent offline GPS to use. Now this use, uses both GPS technology, which is the American standard, and GLONASS, which is the Russian standard for uh, positioning systems. The Chinese also have their own positioning system, but um, we don't have that one on here. Anyways, really cool. Offline. It can show you... Um, it, it has addresses stored offline, and you can search Google for things if you're within Wi-Fi. And you can keep things on your favorites. Very nice. Use this thing all the time when we're traveling. It, has, uh, it hasn't failed us. It has not taken us down the wrong way. There has been some issues where I had to, on one occasion, I had to just turn left and it made me, it wanted to do a U-turn, but I get problems with pretty much every GPS I use. So this has treated me very nicely and I'm very happy with it. So I definitely recommend Navfree from the BlackBerry market. Now, another thing that is awesome about having one of these phones is the music app. It's really straightforward. It just works. I haven't had any crashes, haven't had any issues with it. And let's say you got a long ride to work and you want to listen to your tunes or something. Jesus, straightforward. It's uh, exactly what you need. And it's really easy to put music on here. Just put music on the SD card. Plug it in even, and just put music anywhere, pretty much anywhere, and this app will pick it up, and you'll be able to listen to it from here. So nice and easy. Now, there's another app that I like to download music with, directly off of YouTube. Now, you will find this app, you'll find this app in on Google. You should Google this one. You might not find it in any market. It's Videoder. Pointed out this one right here. With that, you autofocus with this, you can download YouTube videos. And I think that's why we won't ever see it on the Play Store because Google doesn't want you downloading their YouTube videos. So, yeah, you can download stuff here. I'm working on this one right now, Adelaide. Hello. Hello. And you can decide, oh, do I want to download the video? Do I want to download the MP3 version? Just the MP3? That works nicely. And you can just download it and it'll show up here in your downloads. I don't got anything on this one just yet. Give me time. Give me time, YouTube. Now, another thing that an old BlackBerry 10 can be used for is I have to unsnap this is a dashboard camera Auto Boy Black Box is a very highly rated 
dashboard recorder and it's free I definitely recommend it so you can just clip this up where you'd have your GPS and this thing will record where you're driving to what's going on all that fun stuff another awesome thing you can do with an old Blackberry is make it a security camera I have done this with Skype not sure if you can see up here oh, up here in the window I have a Blackberry 10 and I put it up there so that we could check on the cats and the puppy dog when we were away on long trips so here I'm Skyping on my laptop to my Blackberry 10 and you can do this by going into the Skype settings and making it so that it automatically opens whenever anybody calls. Let me see if I can find the settings to that here. So right here you can see in the in the settings of Skype you can just scroll on down to answer calls automatically. You turn that on, someone calls you, it officially automatically turns on. And then you can see through the front camera. That's the only bad part of the, about this. You can only see through the front camera. But still, that's not bad. And it's good for uh, it's good for a little security system. So that's another thing.